good with y'all welcome back to another video on the channel y'all today's video is not gonna be nothing crazy or spectacular i'm in the crib right now i'm gonna do a little pick it up a little clean it up because i'm just that type of person when i have little stuff laying around i just want to get it up instead of just letting it sit there and end up piled up so i just want to chop it up with y'all while i'm doing it so i'm gonna put y'all on this tripod give me a quick second probably put y'all like right there Right, so I don't know. It's probably looking a little dark. I don't know, but I need to get this stuff out of this bag. Look, y'all, I ain't really, I ain't really chop it up with y'all a lot. I feel like I'm abandoning y'all. Like, y'all can let me know what y'all think or what y'all feel like in the comment section. I just feel like I'm having a hard time being consistent, y'all. Like. <sighs> And I really fought myself, man. I fought myself. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. I guess it's just I'm in that little mode again where I'm trying to find what I want to do or what, I, what I'm what i going to do. And wanna, I want to hope that I'll like it. You feel me? But that's genuinely where my mindset is at right now. But we ain't going to get on that topic. We talk about that enough. We, are, we talk about that topic enough, literally. So... Um, update in my life. Your girl is now eating healthy, y'all, because my weight snuck up on me. Living up here, it snuck up on me so bad. I used to never be able to gain weight. I mean, never used to be a little, what they call it. Uh, I don't know when you eat all the time and you don't gain weight. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But it started gaining so fast and sneaking up on me so fast before you know it i was fat like my thighs was getting big my stomach was getting big my boobs were getting bigger and i'm like bro like no that ain't that ain't the way it's getting too hot for that my clothes are now starting to fit different it, that's just not it so I'm eating healthier now, so um, I, I found what my problem was. It was the fast food and consuming too many calories. So these fast food meals, y'all, it be almost like 10,000 plus calories in these meals that we that y'all be eating. I'm not even going to say that we be eating because I don't eat that no more. <laughs> if I'm eating anything fast food, y'all, it's going to be healthy. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be either I have only two options. It's going to be salada or... Um, what is it called? Kava. But other than that, I don't eat no fast food. So <clears throat> when I cracked down on the amount of calories I was consuming, uh, my weight dropped a lot. My stomach pudge went down. I still got a stomach right now. If I, but it, it'll go down, you know, cause I'm not consuming a lot of calories. I will consume on a daily basis, at least like 1200 calories a day. You know what I'm saying? Like, not even a day, honestly, but the amount of calories I kept myself out at is like 1,200. So I don't want to consume no more than 1,200 calories in one day. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that helped me a lot with losing some fat or burning some fat and all that. Um, also, I'm in taking more protein too. So it's like it's turning the fat into... Um, I would say, I wouldn't even say it's turning into muscle because I'm not even working out yet. But, you know, if you consume more protein and you start working out, it turns the fat into muscle. You know, you know what I'm saying? The, if you work out with it, your fat is going to turn into muscle. The more you lift, the more you work out, you exercise. So, I ain't going to lie. I have more energy now. Um, I feel better. I cut out juice. If I'm drinking any juice, it's zero sugar, but I barely do that. I consume uh, watermelon. If I want anything kind of sweetie or juicy-wise, I consume watermelon. You know what I'm saying? I'll eat on some watermelon or I'll uh, blend some watermelon and just drink it in a smoothie or something. But I stay away from sodas and, and juice. Um, the only two juices I got in my fridge is zero sugar. I got some zero sugar cranberry um, and then I got some zero sugar mini made fruit punch. I, I forgot what it is, but 
I'll end up showing y'all because we finna, finna, we finna chop it up a lot in this video. I really have a lot to update y'all on. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've changed my eating ways. I never thought I would be able to do that, y'all. Never. You feel me? I feel like a lot of people struggle with putting themselves in a disciplinary eating um, schedule. And I got it down pack. Um, if y'all don't know, um, well, some of y'all may know of y'all, you know, big supporters of Tonio, but Tonio, he eat uh, healthy. And he told me to eat every day at 12 and, and, and don't eat nothing else after six. So I don't, I don't start eating until 12 p.m. And then 6 p.m., that's my cutoff. There's nothing else after that. If I'm eating anything, it's going to be low-calorie little snacks with high protein in it. So um, I'll probably eat on some little Quest chips, some popcorners, some um, the little black, black bag of uh, white cheddar popcorn. Or I'll just eat on some fruit, honestly. That's mostly what I'll do. But if I have little chips or something, I'll do that. But after six, it's no heavy meals, no more. That's it. You had until 12 to through six to eat whatever meal you wanted to eat. You know what I'm saying? So big shout out to Tony o with that info. He said that burns help, uh, burns fat quicker when you eat, when you start eating at 12 and then you cut it off at 6 p.m. So big shout out to Tony o for that. Um, what else been new in life, bro? Um... <laughs> That's been the main one. I'm so proud of myself with that, bro, because I used to be just eating like a whale, bro, like uncontrollably just eating, wasting a lot of money on food, all that, bro. I done start meal prepping now. Like, that's some real deal grown, you know what I'm saying, meal prepping, bro. I'm meal prepping now, literally. But if I don't meal prep nothing, I'll just... Get me something to eat, and then, I'm, but also, you know, make sure that it's in the healthy range, you feel me? Um, hold on. But, yeah, make sure it's in that little healthy range, not too crazy, you feel me? But I'm really proud of myself with that. I feel like y'all should definitely give eating healthy a shot to see how your body reacts to it. And when I say eat it healthy, you have to literally cut out fast food, y'all. In the beginning, I ain't really, like, when I started, I ain't really have everything understood. I was eating low-calorie, high-protein fast food meals. And then I noticed my body was getting, like, headaches all the time. Like, I used to just headaches, like, cluster headaches, migraine headaches. And they like, bro, you got to, that's not... It's not healthy because it's still processed food because it's fast food. So I had to cut that out. So only little things I'm eating is like salmon, chicken, steak. That was the only little meats I eat. Uh, and then I'm adding vegetables to every meal because you need some vegetables. And then sometimes I'll add rice. Main vegetable be like asparagus, broccoli, mixed veggies or something like that. But it'd be really basic, like eating healthy it's basic, but it's not basic. It's, it's really about what you make it, but I eat very basic. I, I'm going to honestly say that. But it's good for me. You feel me? So that's that with that, y'all. The eating healthy thing, bro. I'm very proud of myself. Y'all should give it a shot. Take your health serious because we young right now, so our bodies don't really go through much. But the older you get, the more your health decline. So either you're going to take your health serious right now or you're going to try to take it serious too late when you getting old and it's declining. So keep that in mind, y'all. My mama always told me, stay on top of your health because the older you get, the worse you get. And it's just going to do it. Like, it, it's just your body going through its phases. You're getting, you're getting old, you feel me? So either you're going to take your health serious now or you're going to bull, mess around and want to do it late. Okay, cool. So we got a little stuff sorted out. I'm putting this up, putting up these clothes, man. I don't even fold clothes. I don't know why I'm here. Whatever. These dirty. So throwing it right in there with the little dirty clothes at. And I gotta show y'all some sneakers, y'all. Like I've, I've, I'm catching myself 
copping fours lately. It's crazy, but I'm gonna show y'all a little, little y'all are probably already know, but I'm gonna show y'all a little shoes I cop. I done cop like three shoes recently. That nothing too crazy, but I just grew out of all that copping J's every weekend, all that, but I just had to with those. But it's one that's still growing on me. I'm kinda iffy iffy about it, but I'm gonna show y'all. Got some more Ethicas, cause why not? Um, and y'all may ask, why do you wear boxers? Why do you wear this? Honestly, y'all, I don't like wearing, um, I don't know, y'all. Like, I just feel like, and y'all probably can vouch. I just feel like y'all underwear is more comfortable than women underwear. Like, don't get me wrong, I have women underwear, but it's just, I'll go order, or I'll, you know, get some, cotton ethicas real fast and i recently i got into these about last year honestly last year ethicas bought, like you know i was wearing the little walmart little boxes <laughs> but yeah um i don't know y'all i just like i just like ethicas you know and, and it's not even on no boys junk because like if y'all was to meet me in real life i'm not that tomboyish like I, I know that I'm a female, but I just, I, I like wearing y'all's underwear. It's more comfortable, man. Like, you got men out here that wear, like, women type of underwears. And y'all know what I'm saying. Like, the ones that just, it don't go all the way to your thighs, basically. And, and I know it'd be uncomfortable. The main reason I don't really like it i'll wear them around the time of my time of the month that's the only time i wear them because you got to have that pad secured i don't understand why females uh wear boxers with a pad crazy work but you need the flap to stick you feel me so no blood won't be getting on your underwear so that's the out that's that's why i have my women underwears but i don't really prefer to wear them like with my time of the, my cycle not being on because when I'm wearing jeans or shorts or whatever, it's just the fact of my ass cheek touching the pants. It feels so weird. Like it it feels weird. I, I don't know if y'all I don't know if y'all understand what I'm saying, but just imagine me having women underwears on. For example, these I got these not too much. Imagine me having these on. My ass cheek is out on this side, right? On this side. And it's touching these fucking pants in the pants. It just, it don't be feeling right. So that's why I really prefer to wear, you know, I don't know. I don't like how jeans and bottoms be feeling on my ass. I think, I think I'm like that because I done, I done got used to wearing these little, wearing y'all type of underwears. <laughs> So yeah, but that's a recent purchase. Some Ethicas, some more. I needed some more. Ethicas is not cheap either. Phew. Gotta, when I mean, they on sale, you gotta make sure you catch them. But I got a light blue pair. What is this, like a greenish white? and orange and then i got a blue pair on right now but yeah i like it because it'd be crazy one day if i can get my own i, I grind a little hard it, it could have happened <laughs> i ain't gonna lie i don't ethica be giving out but i'd be saying psd doing it more like giving content creators they own line down in the comments what y'all like better because like I said, I'm recently, I'm really just getting into wearing Ethicus. Because Ethicus, and I only do cotton. When you're doing that, whatever, that little silk satin, I don't like that. It just makes you sweat. Um, Is PSD better than Ethica? Let me know down in the comments. I never uh, tried PSD yet. But I want to get a pack. Because they don't really have any singular cotton. I like Ethica, the fact it got singular cotton ones. You can't really find like no singular cotton ones on PSD. You gotta order them by the pack. And they don't even be a lot to come in the pack, so. Y'all let me know what's better though. I don't really know. I'm just a girl. So, y'all 
y'all y'all let me know about that. What's better in the comments? Hey, my closet. <laughs> this this is just this is literally like I don't even got a lot of shoes, but I just turned this to a shoe closet and my clothes is in my other closet. So boom, I got these, right? These foes. White and black joints. I just feel like they um a very simple shoe that can go with anything. Literally kind of hate the fact that it's suede because it got all this little I damn near can uh, lint roll these shoes. That's just how much hair gets stuck to it with the material that it is. So, got these right here. I, I like these. I like them. Simple colorway, but I like them. You feel me? Very much similar to these. <laughs> Very similar. Just literally the same shoe, but just. But you know what's crazy, y'all? All of these folds fit different. But they all the same size. Can somebody help me understand that? All of these folds fit different, but they the same size. So these the ones I got right here, this is what I was talking about, these gray ones, y'all. Um when I got these, it wasn't even supposed to be like I knew they was coming out right, but I didn't I didn't I seen people posting the shoe after they got it, and it was like, oh, I don't like how that looks. So I just went to see it for myself, went to Foot Locker, no, City Gear, and I was like, oh, eh. It was okay. It was all right. It's still growing on me. As y'all can see, I really haven't worn them. I haven't wore, I wore, I wore both of these about one time. They still clean. Like, I haven't popped out with them picked yet. I'm planning on, y'all follow me on Instagram. I'm planning on uh, popping out with a pick. I just got to get a fit for both of these shoes. Because it really wasn't intentional to get these shoes at all. So now I got to find a fit for them. But these right here is the only ones that fit so, like they, these fit so tight, y'all. Like, not, not tight, but they up in here. Oh, boy. You better have some changing shoes when you with the night over. Literally. Up in here. Up in here, y'all. It's tearing them bones in your feet up. Literally. But I don't know why foes are like that. Like, why do they all fit so different? Like, they all just fit tightish, snuggish. Like, each... All these shoes fit different. They the same size. Literally. It's, it's weird. But, yeah, I got these... And these, these are the recent pickups right here. W shoes, I ain't gonna lie. Um, might be starting the Foes collection. Crazy. I ain't never really liked Foes, but they going... Next year, y'all go on 23s is back. Next year, oh my gosh. They, re they re-releasing everything, bro. Every shoe you missed out on. Every, name it. They... Jordan releasing every shoe next year. You got the, um, I just got to show y'all. Let me show you. Let me get my phone. I ain't finna, I ain't finna show too much, right? But everything re-releasing, literally. So, Shattered Backboard is coming back out. Ferraris, I, I I remember when these came out, I wanted them so bad, I'm not missing them this time. Uh, Aquas, eights. Y'all see that? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Aqua eights coming back out. These coming back out. These the, uh, I don't know what these called. Come on, focus. Yeah, these coming back out. Yeah, here go the Aqua eights. They coming back out. I'm not missing these, shawty. I'm not missing these. Literally, I'm not. And it's so easy to get shoes up here in Houston, y'all, because people up here, they Jordan heads, y'all, but they not, they not, like, if, if you from a small city and you from a city where people like to cop J's every Saturday, they feel like you popping and you got motion if you copy every shoe that drop you're not missing a run you're not missing a release up here in houston it's not like that these people are on into designer 
more than J's. So I can literally place a raffle every time and I'm going to win. Or I could just walk in the store and the shoe's still sitting. You get what I'm saying? Like in my city in Alabama, oh, you got to bust a couple corners just to get the shoe. You got to do the most just to get it. Not up here. I can get the shoe like that. They don't care up here. They not really, they not, basically, they don't go crazy over Jays up here. Because they really into higher little designer brands up here. So, I'm not missing, I'm, I want the Ferraris. I'm not going to say I'm not missing because you never know what happened. I want the Ferraris and I want them um, 11s. Bad. Bad, boy. And I got some Tim's too. This the third shoe I caught got some Tim's. It's only right, bro. Tim's can go with a lot of its outfits. And I'm starting, I'm trying to, and I'm starting to get into that little baggy dressing wave or them little, you know, the shorts with the Tim's and all that. I'm trying to start getting into that way of dressing. I want to, because I like it. You feel me? I like it. I know I can pull it off. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. I got some um, jeans and stuff. I'm going to show y'all. I got jeans. And I got some jeans that I bought to wear with these. But I feel like I went too crazy. You feel me? Like, I'm just really talking to y'all, man. I was just in the mood to just, you feel me? But I'm going to show y'all real fast. Let's go to my clothes closet. But whatever. So I got these right here. You feel me with the knee holes? You feel me? It's just a baggy type of look. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I'm finna go and try them on for y'all. Why not? Forget it. Why not? And I'm gonna let y'all see in the mirror. However. <clears throat> I, uh, I like how they fit on. I like how they uh lay on the folds, though. I had tried them on with my folds. Both of them. I like how I look. I love it, actually. Now, with the Tims, it's like... I don't know. I like how I look with the Tims, but... I don't know. I'm a little picky. More than anything, I like these shorts with the Tims. My jean shorts. Pockets on it. I got these from... I got these from Ross, bro. Y'all gotta... Don't sleep on Ross. If you got a Ross in Burlington in your city... Don't sleep on it, bro. Ross and Burlington be having that junk. You be having it. You be having them clothes in there. You feel me? Yeah. It's like, it's real baggy. Like, real, real baggy. I like them, though. I just haven't pulled them out yet. I'm pulling them out wintertime, though. I like them. That real nice. It's just the right shirt, all that, and they're going to be good. It probably look a little dark, though. But the right shirt, y'all see them? I like it. Y'all let me know what y'all feel about them, and then I'll be putting them on with Tim's. Throw the Tim's over it. Baggy look. <laughs> Baggy look. You feel me? I don't know. I like them, though, man. I like them, but I don't know how... I don't know. I feel like I need to get them tailored. Get them a little... You know, to fit me just a little bit more snuggish. But it's crazy that it defeats the purpose because they're meant to be baggy. Might as well. Showing y'all everything else. Might as well. So, I had got this shirt right here to go with those baggy jeans and the Tim's. It's hard, though. I like it. It's like a, you feel my collared tee. I feel like I should wear it with some shorts, though, instead of the, the uh, <clears throat> instead of the baggy pants. I feel like I should put it on with some jean shorts, but I don't feel like it should be no light blue jean shorts. I feel like it should be like a darker or probably black, some black wash jean shorts with some um i need to get some supreme socks so i don't know what y'all y'all let me know what y'all think about that off just by how off it's sounding 
What y'all think about that? And I, I need to get this tailored too. I don't know. But I'm more going for an oversized look anyway. So I don't know, y'all. All right. All right, check this out. So. Oh. I just had a whole yap session with y'all, man. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how y'all gonna feel about this, bro. Whole little yap session with y'all. I, I daily don't know how y'all gonna feel about this. Y'all probably think I talk too much. I don't know, bro. I just be... Nobody talks about this, but having your own crib is boring. So, hey. Um, yeah, what was I gonna say? This. Let's get to this. We're gonna, we gonna talk about this, and this gonna be... This gonna wrap up the video right here. Right. Bro. Haven't touched this in I don't know how long. Um, if you checked out that little stream that I did like two weeks ago, that's the last time I've been on here. Yeah, I turned it off and ain't been on here ever since then. But I'm going to keep it a band with y'all. I'm going to give y'all a little insight and I'm going to stick to this. I'm going to stick to this, right? I'm going to stick to this. I promise you. Hold me against it. If, if, if I don't stick to this, bro, hold it against me, right? So I just feel like I shouldn't abandon my gaming supporters, right? Um, y'all got me very far in life. A lot of y'all are still here and y'all want to see gaming. And I feel like me just saying F y'all or just not even F y'all. Me, me saying F gaming um, is crazy when I got far with it. So my second channel, y'all, um, I'm going to post gaming on there. I'm going to post gaming content on my second channel. And I'm going to stick to what I'm doing with my main channel right here. Vlogs, IRL videos, you name it. But my second channel, I want to, I want to do gaming on there. I want to see, I want to see um, how, how everything goes with the route that I'm finna go with the gaming because it's not gonna be 2K. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to burst out bubbles. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it's gonna be different games. Um, I want to play some story mode games, y'all. I want to play some story mode games. I want to play some different games, like some some uh, walkthrough games, like some calm, like multiplayer games. You feel me? Uh, that's what I'm gonna do on my second channel, y'all. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do some throwback games. Um, just you name it. You feel me? If you get what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt that, y'all. I'm gonna attempt that. I'm gonna attempt gaming on the second channel. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you go subscribe to the channel. Turn those notifications. Stay tuned. It's going to be unexpected. I'm not going to let y'all know because I want to see how everything goes. I don't want to promote it. So I want to see how everything goes. And, yeah, I'm just going to keep grinding on that no matter how it goes because really all it takes is that one video, right? So, yeah. We, we, we coming back to gaming, y'all. We coming back to gaming. Y'all just stay tuned. Subscribe to the second channel if you haven't. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Turn on those notifications for both channels. Smash that like button. And uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this little yap session, bro. I just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all. You feel me? You know? Until then, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.